Uh, well that's the first coat of prime on decided to do just the carcass, the plywood I'm going to do the face frame and the doors at the same time and that end panel and then they should all match colours um, not much to add really I put them face out so as I slide them in I don't mark the front edge I've also got pin holes to fill these are the hinge mount marks I'm just going around filling everything there's a little gap there, tiny little gap and some of these boards have a bit that's not bad I think but like on the backs I left that crack and that needed filling after all because this spray paint doesn't doesn't allow for anything that one that one there is quite a bad board look so I'm going to have to fill all that but I've done most of the filling you need to let that dry properly otherwise you just end up sanding it back out the holes that you've just filled so I might leave that till tomorrow let it dry overnight properly I could have used fast filler you know two part filler but that's quite hard sometimes and you just end up sanding all the way back through the paint again I'll get this filled and get another coat on right, I'm putting the second coat of primer on and I'm cheating a little bit going over it with a the sander there 120 paper because some of these bits like where this swatch has been put in a bit rough you can see where it highlights the high areas they have a pain in the neck these bits are sand by hand because you don't want to lose too much on the edges but all the filler holes all the pin holes have been filled and they're finishing, finishing quite nice so far I've got a few more to do I start from the top, work my way down. So if you drag any of that out, you're not dropping onto fresh paint. But they're looking alright. I'll leave them overnight. The shelves I've got to turn over, so mm, I might do them first, turn them over, do some primer, and then get some grey on these later on in the day. next day two coats went on all the pin holes filled quite well anyway I'm gonna turn these shelves over spray the backs and when they're dry I can spray the grey on the backs spray grey on the rest of it and then when that's dry I can turn them over back onto the face the way they are now and spray the grey and leave it all to dry I've got some of these marks little 
fish eyes or whatever they call them. I don't know what that is. The only way I know to get rid of that is to sand it out to remove whatever's causing it. It could be just a tiny molecule of oil or something. Um, if you dig a bit of an hole, you have to put a bit of fellow in. But if you keep spraying on top, it'll just it'll just keep opening up. put this little quartz heater on see if I can make it dry a bit faster it's supposed to be fast drying fellow but I don't know where that I blow the dust off with this it's got quite a long pipe so maybe it got something in it but I've got a, a filter here an inline filter I haven't got it on any of the others so I don't know if the I don't think it came from the spray gun because it isn't on any of the others it can only be a collection from either the pipe a bit of damp in there or it's come off me but it looks like a bit of a bit of a sort of spray pattern or it could have been on the boards to begin with but this one's on the lipping that I put on on the front of this board so it's got on there after I've made it don't know
I've sanded them bits off. Hopefully those are gone now. And this I'm going to put grey on top of that. I should really put another coat of primer on, but we're on grey now, so I'll just load it up with grey. There's fish eyes. Sometimes it's tempted to just put more paint on, hoping they'll fill up, but they don't. They just keep appearing. So hopefully now they're gone and get some grey on top. We'll see. Fish eyes have gone. That's good. Just see, just see the filler mark. It's flat. It's just showing through a little bit. Just needs a bit of a sand. Yeah, that's good. And a fly landed on this one, just as I was spraying it. So that needs to go. When flies land on your paint, you're better off scraping it off with a with a blade. If you try sanding them, they're soft and squishy, so you just end up smudging them into the paint. Mm. 